You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. So, the last place we left off, we had just met some of our newer, some of our, I wouldn't say newer, but we've known each other for a while, but first time we we're being introduced to them, some of our uh, classmates, quite a few of them actually, I think we got introduced to five new ones, and we're on our way to see one of the teachers because we're in trouble! Yuichi has gotten himself into a little bit of a pickle, so let's see how he unpickles himself. Alright guys, <laughs> hope you enjoy and stay tuned for the next 20 minutes and let me entertain you and let's jump right in. Okay. <clears throat> I swear, sometimes I can look his way during class and he'll have his console hidden behind his textbook as if he really thought such a thing could fool anyone. But despite that, he still gets consistently high grades, so the teachers never really complain about his attitude. Uh, heading home. As he spoke. Is he just feeling a bit shy? It's true that he doesn't tend to participate in conversation unless it's about video games. Were you two visiting your club rooms or something? Kyoko nods, a haughty smile on her face. She always, she's always so prim and proper, but she tends to act all ladylike most of the time. Well, despite her distant attitude, she's not a bad person at heart. I've been made responsible for the fashion club this year, so I was just turning in all this required paperwork at the faculty office. Ryoja nods along, too. Dealing with paperwork for the game dev club. Wait, game dev club? We have one of those at school? Just as those words leave my mouth, Ryoji, Ryoji glares at me. Unlike Kyoko, having a six-foot-tall brown berry glowing at you is a really frightening thing, and I can't help but feel a chill run down my spine. S sorry sorry I swear I wasn't making fun of it or anything. <laughs> that seems to appease him as his gaze softens up, looking back down at his game. Jeez, it's really not safe to walk around staring at a piece of hardware all the time, you know? What about you, Yuichi-san? Do you also have paperwork to deal with? Oh, wait, that wouldn't be right. I thought Saya-chan was the one in charge of the tennis club this year. Yeah, Saya Chan's heading to the tennis club. She's heading the tennis club. I've been made vice captain, but really, I'm just along for the ride because she made me do it. <laughs> that really does sound like Saya Chan. Despite their completely opposite personalities, I've heard that Saya and Kyoko have become good friends since we met three years ago. Although Kyoku still spends most of her time around class rep. They've known each other since childhood, after all. Well, if it's not paperwork, then what are you doing here? There are no club meetings for us regular folk right on the right on the first day of class, and your club doesn't even have a room here in the first place. Ah, well, Katsuragi Sensei sort of asked me to get me go meet her. Kyoku's expression immediately goes dark. Wow, what did you do to piss her off this time? But why do you just assume I did something wrong? This is you we're talking about. You have that you just have that quality that pisses off most teachers. H hey, I think so too. Ryoji nods, his eyes still on his game console. Don't just casually agree with her on that. Kyoku laughs, even when she's casually goofing around, her mannerisms are incredibly refined. Well, she is the daughter of a pretty of a pretty wealthy family, and in fact, they actually own the school. Well, make sure to tell me the story behind it later. I'd love to hear what kind of punishment the old hag has cooked up this time. See you tomorrow. Don't say cruel things so ca- Gosh, she's gone. She really is good at slipping away unnoticed. Is that a cat thing? Ah, Ryoji is still here, though. Hey, Ryoji, what game are you playing right now? Moonfighter Rangers. Ah, that one game based on that children's anime. How many seasons does that thing even have? I think I remember it airing when I was eight. Ryoji nods casually, not bothering to confirm or deny what I just said. As always, making conversation with him can be hard. Is the game fun? He looks up at me with a conflicted expression. H hey, what's with that look? Shouldn't you be heading to see the teacher? Gah! He called into the fact I was trying to stall. Yeah, yeah, you can be surprisingly perceptive at times, Ryoji. Unnecessarily so. Ryoji nods, pulling a piece of toast from his bag and munching on it. Wait, a piece of toast from his bag? The hygiene implications of what I've just witnessed scare me a bit. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. Huh, <laughs> off he goes. I'm jealous. I wish I could walk away just like that. Nope. Oh. I've walked all the way to the third floor where the faculty office is located. Huh. I don't want to go in! But I know that if I don't show up soon, she'll only get angrier. Better get over with. Kind of like ripping off a band-aid.
Even though ripping off band-aids is incredibly painful for me because they always wind up ripping a ton of fur off, too. Alright, I won't get anything done if I just stand around, take a deep breath, and... The sound of my knock echoes through the empty hallway. Wah! My heart is beating really fast right now. Even though I've been skipping these things since my first day of class, this is the first time I've been called in because of it. I kind of just assumed I'd be keeping special treatment. I'd be given. I'd keep getting special treatment because of my status as a tennis player. Come in. No. Uh, pardon the intrusion. Oh, okay. It doesn't take much looking around to find Katsuragi Sensei. She's sitting on her chair, legs crossed, and turned all the way to look at the door. She has her head leaning against her closed fist, and she looks incredibly intimidating for a regular old woman. I don't think she's all that old. Michimaya, I was wondering how long it would take you to show up. Just from her tone of voice, I can already tell that the situation is mostly hopeless. No, I still try to act dumb. Maybe that'll save me. I wish. Michimaya-kun, you must know why it is that I've called you over, right? <laughs> well, to be perfectly honest, it's not as if I don't particularly know what kind of reason would lead you to decide against not calling me here. You're talking in circles to try and confuse me now. That's cute, but it certainly isn't going to work. Sit. Yes, yes, ma'am. Thoroughly defeated. Well, you certainly appreciate the amount of exposure your, your name gives this school, and it's not as if you're doing badly with your studies either, given that you're always placing high, quite high in the high school in the school ranks. Y yes, see, I I'm doing pretty well, so... Let me finish. Y yes, ma'am. Katsuragi Sensei sighs, picking up a folder that was on top of her desk and opening it. Is that a file on me? I can see here that your academic records continue to worsen with each passing year. All of your teachers keep mentioning a continuing lack of interest on your part. Not only that, if I pull up your records from grade school and middle school, the drop is almost immediately apparent. Well, uh, one can't live solely on past accomplishments, right? If that was the only reason for this drop, then I'd certainly let you off the hook. But we both know that that's not the real reason, so may we just cut to the chase? S scary. She's really scary. Katsuragi Sensei used to be our homeroom teacher up until last year, but she recently got a promotion and became the head teacher and coordinator for the school. So, she doesn't have any classes to deal with this year, and instead oversees the progress for all the classes in school. Ooh, out of out That's definitely the vibes I'm getting from her. It's an inevitable position. Just thinking of the amount of work she must already she must have already gives me a headache. If only you were trying hard, then I could forgive you for this. It's not as if a person can continue to excel for their entire life. Drives and predi productivity are to be expected. But you've completely stopped trying, haven't you? I've also spoken to your coach, and he's told me that you've completely stagnated when it comes to tennis as well. well what would he know about it? It's not like he even bothers coming to press. I wasn't done talking. Yes, ma'am. Coach Picado theorized that you've been going through a rough period caused by extreme stress due to all the expectations placed on you for the past six years. If that is the case, I'd very much like I'd like for you to see our school psychiatrist then. With all due respect, would that but would that be obligatory? Well, no. We cannot force a student to see a psychiatrist unless he's deemed to be in direct need of psychological assistance. Then I'll pass. I'm fine on my own, but thank you very much. I don't have any complicated problems like that. I'm just not interested in paying attention to class. At it, that's all. She sighs again, rubbing the bridge of her nose with a furrowed brow. So, you'll prefer taking full responsibility for your fail failures over letting someone help you deal with your situation? Given your talents, I imagined you would want to become a professional. That's... Huh. I can't bring myself to conf confidently say that that's my plan. I'll let you off the hook this time. Huh? Well, why? Did I did just say that I've been doing all this on purpose, haven't I? Call it intuition, if you will, but I don't believe punishing you for your lack of motivation will somehow help you become more motivated. I stand up from my chair with a half jump, suppressing the urge to grab her in a tight hug. Thank you, Katsuragi Sensei. You really are much nicer than I give you credit for. Of course, we have yet to discuss your punishment for skipping on this morning's assembly. Yeah! The old fox smiles. Oh, she's a fox. Okay. Looking up at me with a devious look. You didn't really think that it'd also give you a pass for willingly and with full knowledge of your actions skipping the assembly to welcome our newest students for the third time in a row, did you? Uh, 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 of course not. Uh, the, the thought never crossed my mind. <laughs> I'm doomed. And that's the end of the game. <laughs> she kills him, and that's it. I end up being forced to be on cleaning duty for the next week as punishment for my actions. Considering everything I've done, I suppose I had it coming, but... 
I really wish I'd managed to go home free. Huh? What's this? Now that I think about it, I think I can hear something? It sounds like music, come to think of it. There's a music music room. Music. There's a music room. There's a music room nearby, isn't there? But I thought the only music club still operating in our school was the Light Music Club. It sounds more like classical piano. Not that I'd know anything about music in the first place. I just, uh, it's just a feeling that I have. Is someone using it at this hour? It's almost 6 p.m. I guess I'm a little curious about it. Whoever it is, this person plays really well. And maybe this is a recording. No, but it's not coming from any of the school speakers. And the audio quality is too high. It really sounds like the real deal. Maybe I could go take a look. It certainly wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Uh, yeah, go, go look. Before I can even consciously make a choice, I feel as if my legs are working on their own. You're yeah, be towards the origins of this music. It's as if the piano is calling out to me. I want to listen from up close. No, I need to listen from up close. But who could be playing this? The Classical Music Club has been disbanded a few years ago. All that's left is an old room with some dusty instruments. Maybe it's a teacher, or a freshman? No, wait, club activities haven't started yet, so there's no way they'd allow a freshman to use the club to use the to be using the club room already. Before I notice it, I'm already at the door. That, that was really close. I nearly walked in without thinking. How would that person even react to it? What would I even say? Sorry I barged into the room, but could you keep playing the piano for me? But then again, this does sound really good. Crap. I'm just gonna run in circles with this logic. Screw it, I'll just sneak in. The piano is so loud they might not even notice in the first place. I slide the door open as gently as I can. I peek curiously into the room, looking around for, looking around for the source of the music. And that's when I see him. Oh! A boy sitting in front of the piano, his figure bathed by the orange rays of the sun that are coming in from the nearby window. He rocks back and forth in the rhythm of the music, his fingers dancing above the keys in a, flu in a flurry of strokes that are too fast even for me to properly track. <gasps> it's a tiger boy! The entire time, this pleased smile is plastered across his face, never faltering even for a second. And speaking of which, are his eyes closed? How can someone even play a piano without looking at it? How can that even be possible? Droplets of sweat drip down his face, but his expression doesn't falter for even a second. Damn, this guy is intense. His fur, his fur an intense fiery orange when tinted by the evening sun's rays, sways gently from side to side with each and every movement of his body. I can feel the music slowly enveloping me, almost as if it really were calling to me. It's telling me to come closer. I can't take my eyes off his performance. I can feel his music echoing deep inside of me. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I know I want to feel more of it. I feel a tightness in my chest, as if I might suffocate, and yet it's not unpleasant at all. It's like a countless waves are crashing against my body. Everything else is a blurry, is blurry, muddled. The boy and his piano are the only thing in focus. They're the only thing that feels real right now. The closer I get, the harder it is to keep my thoughts in order. I can't even notice whether my legs are moving or not, but it's still a fact that I'm approaching him. Nothing else feels important right now, so I ignore everything else and just focus on his piano. The piano. Oh. Then, as if the spell is broken, I'm jilted back to reality by the pain shooting up my leg. It seems that in my days, I need one of the tables by accident. Freaking hearts! Son of a- Ah, oh, wait, the piano stopped! I look back at the piano and- Ah! The tiger is holding onto the piano, trying to keep himself from falling from his chair? Wait, he fell backwards from his chair! Oh. Well, hello there. But whoa! He gets back up on his knees, bringing a hand up to his head and rubbing it painfully. Ow! Oh god, I really hope he didn't hit his head. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm- I'm fine. Oh. Before I can run over to him, the boy manages to get himself back on the chair, proceeding to get up and turn to me. The boy looks away from me, his whole face turning red. Oh, he's cute! His tail lashes nervously behind him, like a cornered, frightened cat. God, I really did a number on him, huh? S sorry about that, I didn't mean to scare you. I just, uh... The boy relaxes, if only slightly. He crosses his arms and sits upright on the chair. Sorry, I didn't know there were still other students around. Hmm... Um, can, can I help you with something? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. So, sorry for staring. I don't think I've ever seen him before. And I know for a fact that freshmen wouldn't be in this building today unless they had some business in the faculty office. Did he just wander in here and go and get into this club room? No, but it would be kept locked in the first place. There's no way he'd have been able to get in. He also doesn't really strike me as a freshman. He doesn't have that innocent, hopeful spark that you see in the eyes of most freshmen. 
Hmm, I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but are you a freshman here? Because you certainly don't look like it. The boy blinks a few times, cocking his head to the side. And as he looks down at his own uniform, he seems to understand my question. Uh, n no, I, I mean, I'm, I'm new here, but... <sighs> I just transferred to the school today. I am actually a senior. I had a few problems at home. Oh. Wait. I had a few problems at home this morning. Ended up not being able to... Oh my god. Ended up not being able to... So Ended up... Whoa, 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 come on. Ended up not being able to show up for the welcoming assembly. Because I got here late, late. the class has already started. I had to stick around till... Oh my god! <laughs> no, I can't read that. It's too damn fast. Oh, I get it, I get it. Slow down. I'm sorry, was I talking too fast again? Again? Is this a common occurrence for him? Still, he talks so fast I can't keep up... I can't even keep up with what he's saying. Uh, he's kind of giving me a headache. He definitely looks like the high-energy type. No, that's not even the weirdest thing. How can you say so much about yourself to someone you've only just met? Wait, is he still talking? Crap, I've been so caught up in my own thoughts that I wasn't paying attention. Not really good with the crowds. I got into this room to avoid the giant crowd. Oh my god! It was really out of tune, though, so it took me quite some time to get it up and running again. The boy strokes the keys of the piano, gently smiling gently at them. The piano seems to calm him down a bit, and I have to admit, he has a beautiful smile when he lets his guard down. Wait, isn't he relaxing a bit too much? He completely forgot that I'm here. He's just fawning over the piano right now. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> he certainly is energetic, I'll give him that. <laughs> did you say you got here just after today's classes ended? Yeah, I did. Why? Well, it's just... I point towards the clock right above the whiteboard. It's already 15 past 6. Eh? He looks towards the direction I am pointing, slowly, almost like clockwork. I swear I can almost hear the clicking sounds as his head turns. Once he sees the clock, he freezes. Ah! Oh god, this guy's energy is too much! How did he not notice the time passing? The sky's completely orange, for god's sake! No way! I didn't even get to find my classroom yet! What am I even going to do? At this point, it's clear as the day that he's panicking. And I'm probably a horrible person, because watching him acting this way is incredibly funny. Mm, maybe I could do something nice for him and show him around. It's not like he's a bad guy, just a little rough around the edges. But then again, I'm not exactly fond of the idea of hanging out with someone I don't know. So I'm around. Well, I suppose I'm free right now. I can show you around some of the more the important areas of school if you'd like. I do feel bad for scaring him like that when I came in. Poor guy, I almost had a heart attack. I remember Shuichi telling me a while ago that I'm, that I'm always too unfriendly to new people, so I try my best to sound warm and kind. Huh, it feels refreshing somehow. It's been a while since I've legitimately tried to be friendly to someone new. Really? Really? His eyes go so, go so wide that I can barely even make out the color of his irises now. This guy has such drastic shifts in emotion that it's starting to give me whiplash. Sure, we have to be quick, though. They'll close things up in about half an hour. In about an hour, sorry. Could you tell me what classroom you were assigned to? Um, it was classroom 3B. 3B? Then that means... Oh, it's the same as me! Aww. He smiles from ear to ear, his eyes nearly twinkling with excitement. Really? That makes everything a lot easier. Oh, by the way, my dad told me something about this school having special classes for seniors. Can you tell me what, what is that about? Special classes? You mean college prep? If so, then it's just a specific class where they give students some extra classes to prepare them for entrance, entrance exams. So the best students get special treatment? Isn't that kind of unfair? Not really. You're allowed to move up to the class... You're allowed to move up to that class up until the last month of the class, so really anyone can join it as long as they work hard enough. That's not true. I mean, even if I studied 25 hours a day, I'd still never place in the top 50. What? How much do you usually score in your tests? I've never had more than 50 in any test I've ever taken. What? Is this for real? You need an 80 point average to graduate, you know. Eh? He freezes yet again, even his tail is completely frozen mid motion. How is he doing that? Eh? And there he goes again. No way, no way, no way! What am I going to do now? No one told me this when I applied to the school! How did you even pass the transfer exam anyway? I heard it's harder than our midterms. I, I didn't have to take one. They took me in for the music program. In other words, kind of like a scholarship. Well, I suppose if they've allowed you in without testing you, they might just lower the passing score for you. At least I hope they do. This guy is seriously hopeless if they don't. Uh-uh, is, is that so? Phew, you really had me worried just now. Completely back to normal already? Anyway, I'm June, June Kabayashi. Pleased to meet you. 
I hesitate for a second when he extends his hand towards me. This guy is completely throwing me off my pace. As soon as I grab his hand, he starts shaking my hand excitedly. Actually, maybe too much excitement. Way too much excitement! Alright, alright, that's enough for now, okay? He, he looks completely clueless as I pull my hand away from his death grip. Jeez, this guy isn't normal by any definition of the word. I am Yuichi Michimaya. It's nice to meet you, too. Yuichi Michimaya, huh? It's a wonderful name. I really like it. Oh, mm, well, thank you, I, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, if you don't mind, we should probably get going already. It's starting to get late. Oh, right, I forgot! He dives behind the piano and picks up his bag. There are books and papers falling off of it. This guy really looks like the messy type. Nothing out of the ordinary at the bag itself, though. The owner apparently makes up for the bag's plainness. Shall we? We leave the music room and I start showing him around the school. I'm gonna go ahead and probably pause it right there. Oh, okay. Nope. Whoa! Can't... Oh, God. Ah, cats are getting into it. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!